Things are moving fast here at SureCart. We have a brand new version of SureCart out for you. There's some changes that I'm going to cover in this video. Also in this video, I'm going to give you an idea of our immediate plans for automations, as well as give you a first look inside of SureTriggers, which is the automation engine underneath SureCart. Let's get started. First, let's go over some of the visual changes that you're experience here inside of the back end of your website when you're inside of the sure card settings. So I'll click on the logo for SureCart and you'll see a subtle change here in the color scheme as well as our logo integrated. Next you'll notice something missing here in the menu items. We used to have one that was plug-in and when you clicked on it that's where you would enter in the API setting for SureCart but we've gone ahead and it was always the plan to merge that into the settings panel. So I'm going to click right here where it says settings and you'll notice that this also has a slight color change as well. First, you'll notice here in the top left corner, it says the version number that you're currently running on your site. As you can see here, I'm running version 12. Next, as usual, you will see all the various settings panes right here on the left, and you can go right here where it says connection, and this is where the API token will be if it ever needed to be changed. You can see we've also added a process tab right here to make it quick and convenient to connect to Stripe, very soon PayPal and others that we introduce in the future. We also have a new advanced option right here. This is some performance related options as well as if you are going to uninstall SureCart on a website, you can have it uninstall and remove all of the plugin data once you remove the plugin. And right here you can click on help. Currently it's just going to open up the email in your email client, but most likely will add a form inside of the user interface in the future. Now the next change is part technical, but part changes the experience slightly that you'll see inside of your forms. And that is that we've integrated the payment element from Stripe. That's the technical uh, part. This is something that Stripe is doing with any platform or tool that integrates with it, they're having everyone switch over to this thing called the payment element. Even if you're using WooCommerce and maybe the Stripe payment gateway for WooCommerce, they're making everyone convert on over to this payment element. So let me show you what those changes are going to look like. Right now I'm on Stripe's website and then I'll show you inside of SureCart here in a moment. This is a demo of what the experience is. So what they've done is added two input fields. One is the country, one is the zip code, and they've introduced this interface here that we'll be able to add to. So if you're familiar with Stripe, you know that you can connect to many gateways around the world through Stripe. And this is the interface that they've come up with in order for people like us at SureCart to make these available to you. So for example, right here is an option for Afterpay. When it's clicked on, what's beneath it changes a little bit to accommodate for what Afterpay needs, as well as U.S. bank account for ACH transactions. Now, currently, we are supporting credit card transactions. We are already working on Afterpay, and we'll try to support as many of these as possible, such as Ideal and Bolero. I might be pronouncing that wrong in Brazil. In fact, I'm pretty sure I am pronouncing that wrong. So now let's take a look at how it's going to look inside of your forms. So I'm going to go into one of my forms right here. I'll go into this form right here. And you can see when I scroll down, this is what it looks like, the new payment interface. So there's a few pieces to this and the responsiveness of this is all handled by Stripe as well as this sentence underneath it right here. It says, uh, by providing your card information, you allow, and then it's gonna automatically display the name of your business to charge your card for future payments in a accordance with their terms. So this is all here by Stripe and this is something that they're having everyone switch to. And here I am on the front end of my site and you can see how it's looking. So right here, uh, this is what the payment section looks like. Here's another example on a styled website 
or I have the switcher and you can see this right here. So obviously it's not as sleek as it used to be, but like I said, this is something that Stripe is implementing and they're having everyone that builds an application around Stripe, they're having them all switch to this new layout. Now I'm gonna show you something really cool and this has been requested quite a bit recently and that is if you're offering a product that doesn't cost anything, it's a free product to make it so the payment box does not appear. Let me show you that. On this payment form right here, you can see I have multiple options here in the product chooser. And the first option right here is for no, no cost. There's absolutely no cost to it. So obviously if someone is going to choose this, there's no reason to show the payment form, which you can see right here. So when I click on it, you're gonna see the payment form completely disappears. And this is what the buyer or purchaser, even though it's $0, is left with just giving you their name and their email address, and then they can conveniently check out. That's pretty cool, right? Uh, we've had a lot of requests for this recently. Now I'm gonna show you a preview of our PayPal integration, which is currently being tested. We are waiting on PayPal certification of it, and we can't wait to release this to you. So I have this here in a preview video. It might be hard to see in this video, uh, but right here you can see we're gonna have a section that says payment, we already have that, and it's gonna be an accordion interface, which is I'm sure what you would have expected. So what you can see here is the credit card, and this is the Stripe integration, and then underneath it, your buyer can choose PayPal, and you can choose on a form which one is the default. So you can see right here, it's showing the credit card, and you can scroll down and so the buyer can select on PayPal and the button changes to PayPal checkout just like that. Now, as we add additional payment providers, payment processors, that's how it's gonna work. There'll be this accordion integration. And as soon as we have the wide release of Surecart, we'll begin working on those integrations with other payment providers. Now let's talk about something very exciting. And this is the integrations that you need to run your business and automations. We know that the most important part of any e-commerce platforms is for you to be able to get it work to work with all of the other apps that you use to power your business. And we understand this. So we've adjusted some of our plans in regards to this. And I wanna tell you right now what those changes in plans are. So immediately, which means right now, we've decided to work on several native core integrations inside of Surecart. And so this will be outside of the automation engine that we've been talking about. So these would be, for example, changing a WordPress user role, enrolling in a Learn Dash course, connecting natively and directly to Thrive Architect so that entire ecosystem of users can easily integrate Surecart into their businesses. And there's several others that we are adding. We are not gonna add everyone. These are the main integrations that people will need. Everything else will be able to be done inside of Sure Triggers. And that's actually gonna be the name of the e-commerce automation platform that we've built. It's just an automation platform. I don't know why I said e-commerce, but it's gonna be the automation engine for Surecart. And right now, I'm gonna give you a first look at Sure Triggers. Now I'm giving you a first look for the sake of showing you what we have, but I will tell you right now, this has not been fully polished our user interface. We are currently working on a new user interface enhancement, revampment, although even when you see what we have, it's quite impressive. So you'll be able to come in here and the first step is to connect to your sites. So you will connect to Surecart, connect to your your WordPress sites, connect it to things like ConvertKit. As a matter of fact, if you want to add a new connection, all you have to do is click add a new connection. And right here is a long list of services that you will be able to connect directly to. And once you've connected, you'll be able to use these inside of your automations. For example, if I wanted to connect this to ConvertKit, I'll click right here. And all I need to do is go and get the API from ConvertKit 
and I can also add multiple convert kit connections. And it's the same for all of these apps here. So if it's Zoom, I click right here and one click on this button and I'll be able to connect my Zoom account to the platform. All of your connections will show here inside of a list. Then you'll be able to go here to the automations tab. And this is where you will see a list of the automations that you have created. Now creating a new automation is very simple. You'd go right here, click on add new. You would give it a name. Once you give it a name, you'll click create automation right here in your quickly taken to the canvas layout builder. And this is very, very powerful. So every automation starts with a trigger. I'll go ahead and click add trigger. And over here on the right, I can go and choose what app this trigger is coming from. So in the case of Surecart, I'll scroll down and I'll see Surecart right here. And then you can choose what specific trigger inside of Surecart. What we have listed is if the admin revokes a purchase, the admin unrevokes a purchase, a refund is issued, a purchase completes, a user completes an order successfully, or a specific product is purchased. So I'm going to choose a specific product. And then right here, I would choose which Surecart connection. I only have one and then which product. So I'll click here and dynamically the list of products will appear. So I'll scroll down to the membership product that I've created and click on save. You can now see it says when a purchase a product is purchased and the name of that purchase. Then you'll click right here on the plus and you'll choose what you want to have happen after a user purchases the membership. So we have actions and they're all listed here. These are things that you want to have happen. So for example, if I click on Elementor, there's an option here to show an Elementor pop-up. Or if it's convert kit, there's an option here to add the subscriber, tag the subscriber, remove the subscriber, or remove a tag from the subscriber. And as I scroll down, there's lots of things that you can do with these various apps. Here's Google. You can add this info to a data sheet if you wanted. We've got LearnDash, Lifter LMS. We have MailChimp, MemberPress, Restrict Content Pro. We have SMTP for sending emails, as well as we have some direct SMTP type of transactional email provider services integrated. We got Send in Blue, Sure Triggers, we got Tutor LMS, we've got Twilio for sending text messages to buyers. We have Twitter, we have Wishlist Member, WooCommerce, WordPress. For WordPress, that would be also to send a webhook. We have that option in here. And then of course we have Zoom, so you can add someone to a meeting. But that's not all. We also have conditions and these will be a wait condition condition. So if you wanted to immediately send an email and then send an email three days later, that's when you would use the wait condition. And then we also have the if else condition. An example of that is if you wanted to add it to this automation, you could say, if the purchase amount is greater than $100, perform these actions. If it's lower than $100, perform these actions. And there you have it. That's your first look at Sure Triggers. We are so excited about this platform. Now, don't be discouraged if when I was showing you the list of actions, the connections, the triggers, all of these things, and you didn't see your app, don't worry. This is our starting point, and we're gonna be constantly adding more and more apps into Sure Triggers so that you can have more powerful automations after these e-commerce transactions. So we want this thing to work with everything. We want it to work with circle.so, pl platforms like that, or different accounting platforms like Wave Apps. We're gonna make it integrate with all of those so that you can have the most powerful e-commerce experience when you use Surecart. So that's all that I have for you in this video. Thank you for watching it. Thank you for trying Surecart. We really appreciate it.